In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a little bit of a witchy haul. I'm really, really excited to share these little bits with you that I've recently picked up from HomeSense, and I'm gonna sneak in a couple of other bits as well that I wanna share with you. So get yourself a nice, warm or cold drink if you are also going through a heat wave. Settle back, relax, and enjoy. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. I hope that you are all well and safe and looking after yourselves. In today's video, I'm really, really excited to share with you a little witchy home sense haul that I just went on today. And I'm so, so excited. I actually wasn't gonna get anything, but it was just too amazing an opportunity because I've never ever seen it so full of the most amazing like Halloween-y, harvesty gorgeousness. So I really, really wanted to share this with you, even though it is probably really, really early for people. I think that everyone here in England is starting to realize that we just need to go sooner, a little bit sooner each year, and then we can get the pieces that we really, really like. So I also think as well, you know, obviously you save your pieces from each year and then pull them back out again. And I'm not gonna lie, some of the things that I have loved collecting over the last few years have stayed out because they're just so witchy and amazing. And here in England, of course, we have things like Home Bargains and we have TK Maxx instead of TJ Maxx, I think it's in the States. And we have HomeSense, which I think is the same as Home Goods. I'm not sure, don't quit me. But obviously you guys in the States, you have so many cool shops like Marshalls and things that we just don't have. So I am just making the most of what we do have and really, really enjoying it. I know this might not be everyone's cup of tea. So if you don't enjoy these videos, by all means, you don't have to watch. Just switch over and go and watch one of my more educational videos or something if that is preferable or go watch someone else if you don't like this. But personally, I do love this time of year. I absolutely love the harvest and Halloween decor that they have at various different stores in England. So I am gonna be sharing these bits with you now. I really wish I'd taken some footage, some photos or something, but I really didn't. However, I will say, if you are in the UK, definitely follow HomeSense and TK Maxx, both the hashtags and the actual official account, because then you'll see when everyone who is doing their witchy hauls does their tagging, because yeah, I really should have gotten some photos. It's just because I was my daughter, I wanted just to spend the time talking to her and having a lovely time. So we didn't take any photos, I didn't get any footage, but I will say it was the most incredible it's ever been and yeah I would highly recommend a trip if you have a home sense near you if not if you have a TK Maxx then by all means I think that they have quite similar pieces so I have yet to visit a TK Maxx this year but I will be hopefully doing that there's a TK Maxx much closer to us here in Devon where I am so yeah the home sense was a bit of a bigger trip and so yeah I wanted to make the most of it and even though I promised my hubby I really wouldn't pick anything up or much up, I had to just jump at these pieces because I knew, because obviously being a witch, you know, if you're watching this, then you'll know that, even if you've stumbled across this video because of the haul, a lot of this stuff, like, I'm gonna enjoy throughout the entire year. You know, I keep out a lot of my stuff. So yeah, it's definitely worth the investment, I think. So the first thing is there were just gorgeous cushions. So many cushions in lots of different shapes, sizes, some really cute ones, some harvesty ones, lots of Halloween ones, then gorgeous blankets. And I was very tempted by the blankets, but I knew I wanted some cushions. So I ended up getting two. This is the first cushion, which I absolutely love. It reminds me quite a lot of the doormat I have, which is something about the witch being in, I can't remember, but I've shared a picture of that on my Instagram. That actually was from Amazon because last year I bought a witchy one from TK Maxx and it broke quite quickly. I often find this actually because I shake out my rugs and then they break and it's, yeah, it's heartbreaking. But anyway, this, I love this because it's like, I really love like the monotone. We have a lot of like neutrals in our house, like a lot of greys. So I knew that this would just go really, really nicely. Plus it feels like a really luxurious cushion. It's like a really good quality cushion. You can feel it. And then this sort of like canvasy material, it feels very like plush and very elegant. In terms of the brand, Sweet Street, and there were a lot of this brand there. So this one was 19.99, which I, yes, it's expensive, but I think this is just gonna be so great, either in the living room or in the chair in the kitchen, it depends. I don't know if we're gonna have any parties or anything, but we're definitely gonna do some trick or treating with the kids this year. So this will be really, really fun and get them in the mood, and they absolutely love Halloween. So I'm really, really pleased with this piece. I could not leave this piece behind. Next up was a little treat for Rosalie because of course she was with me. So I need to film this and race to get it back to her because she very, very kindly gave 
me this little present I got for her so that I could film it and show you guys. But there were lots of decorative bits and doorstops and things and there was a really, really cute spider doorstop actually that I really, really liked. But she picked out this absolutely gorgeous little harvest fox, which I thought was so cute and it's got this really like gorgeous like sequin neutral pumpkin and she's gonna have this in her room and actually it really really is in keeping with the rest of our house to be honest I mean we don't have like cute little animals around but like the colors are just really really sweet it's just the kind of thing that I would have at Christmas but obviously with Christmas kind of colors you know this is like woodland theme is something I absolutely love so this is gonna look really really cute in her bedroom I'm just gonna let her put it wherever she wants this was a little treat for her because obviously we went together and she was really excited about this trip it was all about her and I spending time together this was 9 99 so I thought this wasn't too ridiculous considering it is a doorstop it's actually useful and if she ever grows out of it then we can add it to our decorative bundle but I think she's going to love this forever so I have told her it's not a cuddly toy but I'm sure she'll be cuddling it somewhat because she does that and she definitely makes friends with her animals and things so this is really really cute for her. I'm going to go give this back to her now. Oh, it's so warm, isn't it? Do you want to say hello? Oh, here she is. This is Coco, for those of you who have not met her properly. Um, she was on our walk the other day that I shared with you. <laughs> and I shared with you when we first got her, and it was, a, I think, a witch's box unboxing video. But she's very hot today, bless her. She's really struggling in the heat. Oh, she was struggling. But she's very, very sweet, and oh, she wants kisses. Later, darling, later. Hmm. You go down there. Right. Also, the hubby is just putting up a paddling pool now. We didn't have one. I think one from last year broke. So he's just bought a new one today. And we have a hose pipe van apparently coming tomorrow. So he's trying to fill it up now so that we can have a paddling pool for the kids because it is so hot here at the moment. It's just, it's just crazy. So moving on. The next pillow, which I just could not resist, is this gorgeous plush purple velvet cushion with the crystal ball and the eye and this just felt so perfect for me and my witchy space and I think I'm gonna have it on this chair actually because I don't actually tend to do divination in here all that much I do prefer to do divination in my bedroom but obviously it screams you know psychic and a witch and tarot reader and that's exactly what I am you know I, I wouldn't call myself a medium or a psychic exactly but I definitely do have psychic abilities and I tap into those quite frequently I have premonitory dreams and downloads and premonitions and visions and things so I also have a clear audience somewhat and some psychic knowing as well so there are a number of things but my hardest thing about divination and psychic development is that I can't really control it so it happens sometimes and other times you know it doesn't even though I'm trying to tap in but I am doing a video soon with some different formulas that I'm creating to support my divination practice so if you are interested in that topic then do subscribe if you're not already and that will be coming up so but I just thought this is so perfect and so cute and what I might do is have it downstairs at first and then like for the season and then after that put it in here so it's like for my space but I just absolutely love it we don't have a lot of purple but I think in here is quite colorful with all the books and it just works so it would work anywhere to be honest and I did see a few people today who I was pretty sure were witches one fantastic woman with purple hair and we kind of gave each other a look and I think that yeah I definitely think that she knew what I was talking about and I asked her which one she preferred and she definitely said to get them both because otherwise you regret it but yeah like I absolutely love this so oh, this one was 12 99 and this is the Alex and Parker Halloween collection so this is probably an American brand I should imagine but yeah I love this love this so much and I'm so glad that I went for both honestly even though it was more expensive than I Moving on. I cannot go to HomeSense or Tiki Max and not get a pumpkin each year. And they had some gorgeous ones. They had some like soft plush ones that were like doorstops. They had some like wooden ones. They had the plasticky ones. They had glass ones. And I always like the glass ones, like ceramic. They had a like ceramic jar as well, but I do have something like that that I got from Amazon last year. So I went for this gorgeous metallic gray and copper 
colour, like rose gold colour. I just thought it was so Cinderella and a lot of the pumpkins that I have have that kind of Cinderella look to them. There was also a really gorgeous like golden orangey one that I just fell in love with as well but I could not justify two because I have quite a lot. One of them that I absolutely adored from Amazon was a glass one with this beautiful golden top. I think I got that early last year and then we moved and it got broken in the move and I was absolutely gutted but I did find another one that was quite similar on Amazon to make up for it because I said to my hubby I'm not not like losing that pumpkin but this one was 9 99 which I think is a really really great price and this is definitely going to be in the living room. I'm just going to dot them around the house because I have quite a few now. Just going to like play with them and see what looks best really and like where they look best but I absolutely love the pumpkins and I do like them to be sort of in neutral tones to like go with the rest of the house that's just my style and I love them so much and yes a couple of them do stay out throughout the year they do because it's just it's just part of who I am like and I mean I look at it and I think Cinderella I also think Halloween I think Samhain I think witchcraft I think it's just all the stuff I love and it just yeah it's wrapped up in this gorgeous parcel of pumpkinness which yeah amazing the one thing I did not get was a candle because I usually do get sand and fog candle and I picked out two I liked. One of them was incredible. It was like a ceramic cauldron, black cauldron with the candle inside and so you could obviously burn it through, put it in the freezer and then use it as like a little cauldron kind of decorative vessel. Obviously being ceramic you probably couldn't like actually use it in that way but it would be like a lovely storage thing for like little witchy tools or crystals or something that you want to keep so I really did want to get that one but it was 12 99 and with everything I just sort of thought I've got so many candles and yeah so that I made a sacrifice for. But one thing that I couldn't resist was a good old mug and I loved this one. Again, like really like neutral tones. It has these beautiful like witch's hats on them. They had some with like bats, I think, and some with like pumpkins, of course. So this one's made in Portugal and it's of ceramic, so really good quality. Microwave dishwasher safe. This was $4.99 and it's huge. So I really, really like it. I like a big mug. I like big mugs and I cannot lie. So I had this gorgeous mug as well that I have to show you that you might have already seen seen on my channel before. I have my coffee in it quite a lot and it's from Emma Bridgewater and it was in their sale. It's a Halloween mug. It says a large dose of magic and it's so so cute and I, I pretty much drink from that every day. I also have this incredible pumpkin mug that I got on Etsy last year as well so I'm gonna have to sh show you some of those on Instagram I think this year like do some photos of some of the pieces that I've been collecting over the years because some of those things will still be available. So yeah it's just a question of like collecting and going with whatever style you like. You know I like the more muted tones and the darker tones and that's just who I am that's what I like I don't love the garish orange but having said that I do have a resin black cat that's like sitting on a orange pumpkin and that reminds me of my late cat Capri. So um, that's going to come out and go somewhere, like maybe in the foyer, I think. So I love that piece as well. So always, always with the mugs. And again, all year round, of course. Why not? I did look for some spatulas or wooden spoons with like witchy things on them, but I didn't really find any that I liked. But I did see this incredible chopping board and there was only one left. And it didn't have a price on it either, so I had to go and ask about this, and it took them quite a while to find out how much. And they charged me $7.99 in the end, and I thought, yes, it's quite a small one, and so it's not like the cheapest, but I just love it so much. It says Witch Brew, Witch with an E on the end. It's just really oh, perfect for all year round, and I figured like I can use it in my kitchen witchy videos and such, and just, yeah, we always need new chopping boards, so I'm going to have this out throughout Halloween and then definitely use it. I also found some nice hand towels and I was thinking about getting some of those, but again, I was just trying to like limit myself because yeah, budget is important. But yeah, some things I just couldn't budge on, like this was very important as well. As I said at the beginning, this is all about picking things up from shops, but I can share some other things with you that I've had in the past and a couple of things I've made as well or like decorated. So I can share those with you at the end if you like. And last year I did a video as well and I think I shared a few pieces from previous years in that as well. So if you wanted to see that, then you can see some of the items that I've collected that I'm decorating the house with in general. So if you wanted to check that one out, I will tag it in above. Um, because yeah, a lot of these things, they get remade and then like resold. Like the next year you can find very similar pieces pieces every year so it's always nice just to check out these videos plus I just love them they're just so fun. So next up not exactly Halloweeny but kitchen witchy definitely I went to the food snacky bit and I don't usually pick up a whole lot from there but today I was really hungry I also got these 
Three Farmers Crunchy Roasted Fava Beans and Sea Salt, and I was stacking on them in the car, and they, they're quite nice, quite crunchy. Mm. Salty, plant based, obviously. They just have fava beans, sunflower oil, and sea salt. So, quite a clean snack. So, I was stacking on these in the car, which is nice. I found this chocolate, which is Belgian Chocolate Harmony, and it's almonds and sea salt, and it's reduced sugar, which I like because I do love chocolate, and I eat quite a lot of it, so I'm just trying to limit my sugar, really. And then my hubby is obsessed with, like, toffee and fudge, and so I was going to get him some of that, and then I saw Honeycomb, and he absolutely adores Honeycomb, so this is Honeycomb smothered in Belgian milk chocolate, and I knew he'd enjoy this, so I picked this up for him. Uh, palm oil free, etc. Yeah, I know he'll enjoy these, so that's his little like gift to placate him for all of the shopping I've just done and then I really really like creating my own marinades and like oils and stuff for using in the kitchen and I found this chimichurri spice mix and it's nice because it's gluten free it doesn't have any added salt in it so it's paprika parsley oregano garlic onion cayenne pepper and pepper so this is just going to be really really great for throwing on chicken or fish like for the barbecue while we're in the season i just love this flavor this was 2.99 in fact all these snacks were really really reasonable like 1.99 2.99 and yeah i'm just excited to use this because i love all these spices and it's just nice to have them already in a mix that hasn't got any added sugar or anything like that and then you can just throw it all together and it, it's a bit quicker. So I just thought it would be really, really fun to use for some kitchen witchery. So then we popped next door just to get a drink and to go for a comfort break. And I saw they had some incredible dried flowers and I'm a bit of a sucker for like those fluffy grasses and you know, pussy willows and such. And they had this Gypsophilia, which I wanted to get for ages. And this was the last one and the packet was a bit ripped, but still in good condition so it's just beautiful this was 10 pounds from Dunelm so Gypsophilia bundle I think that Dunelm is only in the UK so not in the States and obviously it's more of a like a home decor store but I knew I needed a vase with it as well so I found this one it seemed like the right sort of size and sort of the right kind of like texture and shade so this was six pounds so I think it was quite a good price it says reactive glass so I might just put this in now and this will be part of like the autumnal harvest display that we will have at home this is basically the theme of my home is like harvest autumnal theme it's basically what I love so yeah I think this perfectly matches like everything else in the house I know I've bought these and they're already pre-dried but that's just because they look so pretty to be honest with you I have quite a lot obviously that I'm drying myself so anything that's in our garden I dry and anything that my mum gives me I dry and things that I forage for on walks and such as long as it's safe you know to forage for and, and dry and use obviously I, I use them in my practice as well but it's just nice to have something that's kind of decorative I also have some grasses that I foraged actually that are on display in the kitchen at the moment which are gorgeous so yeah I, I would definitely forage but I've never seen anything like this that I could forage close to me anyway. So it's nice just to be able to purchase it at a good price. So yeah, that's a really, really gorgeous decorative piece. And of course, with all your decor as well, you can enchant them. And I have a video on my channel that I made like a year and a half ago or so about like everyday magic, mundane magic, and everyday items that you can use in your witchcraft and your magic and enchant. And you can definitely enchant pictures and decorative items and plants as well, house plants and anything like this that's like ornamental and decorative in your house, you can enchant it. So whatever you feel like, I think this would be perfect for like blessings and bringing in abundance for the harvest season. So you could absolutely use that in your magic as well. And speaking of drying flowers, when we went for a fantastic walk the other day and I found this incredible stick, it was obviously on the floor, so I'm not entirely sure what kind of wood it is, but I'm thinking it could be cedar, but it's very, very beautiful. I love it. So I'm gonna use some twine and hang this up and then have herbs hanging from it and that I can add to dry, especially as we're coming to the end of the summer. I'm gonna be harvesting some herbs and plants from the garden and drying them. So this is perfect for that. And if you're still here and you'd like to see some of the other bits that I have in this room that were from previous years, this is one little pumpkin that I picked up, I think, last year. And I've still not burned it, so I'm going to burn it this year, I think. I'm going to use it in a spell for blessings and I'm going to be lighting this soon. It feels a little bit early to be lighting it, to be honest, but, you know, 
who am I to talk? I've just been on a Halloween Samhain Harvest Home Sense haul in August, so. So this is a broom I picked up a couple of years ago from Home Bargains, I think, or Poundland. I just painted it gold to add a little bit of extra pizzazz, and it's enchanted, of course, and I have it in my space here. I also picked this up a few years ago from TK Maxx as well. It's like this beautiful kind of cracked glass effect skull. I like that it's clear. I don't find it as garish, and yeah, it's just nice to have a skull around the space. I got a few signs last year from Amazon and I thought that the printing looked really, really bad quality so I basically just got out my acrylic paints and I went over them to make it look a little bit more like someone had literally just painted it. I think it's nice, I think it's kind of got like Harry Potter vibes, like the Leaky Cauldron kind of vibes and I definitely think it's time to have this up so I think I'm probably going to take this to the kitchen later and put this up. I also found this amazing skull plate last year from TK Maxx and they still have the same patterns. I think it's quite a well-known ceramic brand that make plates and stuff but they have this white and black and gold dinnerware set and you can get all the different pieces and you might have to get them in dribs and drabs because there's quite a lot of different ones and they're not all available but the one I got was like a big big plate that you could use for like serving cakes so I'm really excited to get that out for this year as well so and of course lots of these pieces you can actually put on your ancestor altar as well like and decorate your entire house with you know you can use them in a witchy way you can use them in a decorative way you can do both like whatever works for you you know and one final thing I wanted to share with you is this pumpkin set that I actually felted myself. You buy the felt and then you buy the needles and essentially it was two pumpkins, but I just never really got around to finishing this one. And then when I put them on top of each other, I thought they looked really perfect. So it's just felting and just a lot of hard labor really, but it's great to get your aggression out, but you do end up stabbing yourself quite a lot. If I have a bit of time, I might do a bit of this this year as well. I think I did these a couple of years ago now, but yeah, it is really, really fun. So if you're into crafting, then you can of course make your own decor pieces and you can, you know, customize them however you want them then. I like this because I got to use a lot of neutrals and then some reds and some golds and some greens and it's just perfect colour for me. So at the moment it's in this space but I will be taking it downstairs again and displaying it in the house because I love it. So those are just a few ideas of some of the things that I have around the house in general and that I've kept for decorating at harvest, Halloween, Samhain time. I do celebrate Halloween and Samhain differently and I kind of celebrate them simultaneously though. I will try to do rituals with my ancestors. I'll be making offerings and I usually have quite high dream activity during that time featuring my lost loved ones. And then with Halloween, it's obviously all about the kids and decorating and bringing in those blessings and enjoying the season. So yeah, I think that you can just celebrate both. And I kind of think of them in like for me they come together they cross over each other but for, I know other people like to have them just completely separate or they just celebrate one and not the other it's completely up to you you know how you feel about your own practice really but I hope this has been fun I hope that you've enjoyed it I hope you've seen some bits that you liked and got some inspiration you know maybe if you don't want to buy anything you want to craft some of your own things and use some things you find in nature by all means that's always an amazing thing to do and just going on a simple walk you can find the most amazing stick and you've got a magic wand and there's paint and you can strip back the wood, you can do so many different things, crafting yourself and felting, you can use leaves and pumpkin in painting, you could craft your own bunting, you know, the list is endless. I would definitely recommend that if you want to get into some crafty things like that, look on Pinterest because there's so many different cool crafts that you can do with kids or just for yourself and create some beautiful decor yourself as well because that's really, really fun to do. I think we made some lanterns last year that were really really fun it was just leftover jam jars and lots of tissue paper and then some like of those battery led tea lights and my kids absolutely love them they had the best time so you can really really go wild and just enjoy yourself get creative in this season so i really really hope that you enjoyed this if you did don't forget to like the video share it with anyone who you think would also be interested who loves this time of year who loves these hauls if you've been watching my channel and you're not yet subscribed do subscribe and hit the bell notification because that way you'll get notified when i create and upload videos just like this. I also share witchcraft, tarot, spiritual related content, both educational and experiential, as well as recipes and ritual ideas and things like that. So do subscribe if this is the first time you're finding me. Obviously like and share. And if you are interested in following me on Instagram or TikTok, I have those profiles. And I also have a Patreon page where I'm sharing some custom Book of Shadows pages that I create with recipes that are featured on the channel, as well as 
full and new moon full forecasts along with ritual ideas and herbs and crystals that you can work with during the time it talks about all the different movements of the planets and what's happening and how that is impacting your life depending on where it falls in your natal chart i also include with that a pdf of the tarot spread that i feature on my instagram so if you wanted a pdf to work with that spread then you can join me on patreon there's a whole bunch of other perks that i am including as well like a discord server and it's just a lovely way to support the channel if you enjoy what i share here i'm also planning to make some more videos really soon about different topics that i don't really want to talk about on youtube itself so i'm going to be more in depth i'm going to talk about some of my own personal experiences and it's going to be really really juicy so that is probably going to be another tier though but in the meantime if you wanted to join the first tier which is just one the first tier by all means go ahead and you will get the benefits that i've already been discussing if Patreon's not for you, I do have a Buy Me a Coffee page and a direct PayPal account as well that's linked below. So if you would like to just make a one-off donation, you can. Sorry, there's some very loud people out there because it's very hot outside. And you can also send me a super thanks via the YouTube, which is just below. So if you don't really want to click off anyway, you just want to do it quickly, then you can do that below, which I'm so, so grateful for. Everyone who supports me, it just enables me to be able to continue to make this content here that is free content that I am sharing that I love to do. Just supports with the extra cost of supplies and all the time and effort, really, and energy that I put into it. So if that feels like something that you'd like to do, then I'm so, so grateful. And of course, if not, then just being here is so, so appreciated. Reaching the end of the video, etc. You know, liking the video, sharing, commenting down below. Like, I'd love to hear what your favourite pieces from this video were, etc. And anything that you're going to be doing this year, um, craft-wise as well, let me know. So if you made it this far, then please do leave me a little witch emoji. That would really, really be great. And then I can see who's made it all the way to the end of the video. So with all that said, thank you again so much for joining me. I hope you stay well and safe. Have a beautiful rest of your summer and harvest time. And I will see you in another video really soon. Take care. Bye.